Ramadan Mubarak from Gambian Prophets the radio. The hybrid of the uh, uh, presidential and the parliamentary. And uh, there is some good reason for that. The ministers who are appointed from among members of the National Assembly, they know that they continue to owe their allegiance to their constituents, to the people who elected them. But one appointed by the president only has, I mean, his, the appointing authority. He couldn't care whether a certain measure will adversely affect the people of Florida because he loses no seat. But we strongly suggest that that we should have no fault. We are reviewing the Constitution and wanting to bring innovations. We are in the process of constitutional experimentation. And we suggest that this system be tried. And I'm sure when it is tried, we will be like Ghana and we will also be like France. Now, and as to whether the president should be or could be a person with dual nationality, uh, I want to say straight away that issue of nationality there is an allegiance. If the president is a person with dual nationality, which of the states would he be in allegiance? The state for which he served as president or the other state? Whilst I do not oppose Gambians adopting citizenship of other countries, but if they aspire to an office such as the government of the Gambia, they should revoke or abandon their other nationality. And they must produce evidence of that. Because we want to be sure that uh, our president is a Gambian by all standards. And so I would suggest the same for cabinet ministers. In fact, the current constitution provides that that all of them will keep the appointed cabinet. We're not thinking that that is a very significant provision and we should be maintained. And again, I say so on the issue of because of the issue of allegiance. We uh, do not want to have a minister who is a national of another country by time of naturalization or one who is not is not a citizen of the Gambia by virtue of being by virtue of birth. But come from another country and naturalizes and they wanted to press wanting to really uh, contest the president of the new member of the cabinet. I think that this should be very uh, serious issue that should be considered and I want to propose to all of us here that we should allow only Gambians, only Gambians, not those with dual nationality, to go to become presidents of this country or to go to the cabinet position. You can't abandon the other nationality if you so want. But you cannot you cannot and you cannot go to the other Whether the president should be in the same government, for me, that is an elitist approach. That is an elitist approach. After all, uh, Madam Moderator and most of you may be in a very positive way. We have seen who could be a better president than Asa Musa Kamara. Who could be a better president than Asa Musa Kamara? Who could be a better president than Sheriff Dina? Who could be a better president than Sheriff Sisi? And that's a sign of we are not diverse, we are not university progress. In fact, I understand as a Muslim, they don't even go to high school. So this elitist thinking, I think we must throw away, we must abandon that. And uh, if at all there's a matter that should be considered, let me make it an issue against my opponent who is not a university graduate and tell people that he is not a university graduate and because of this, that and that, which are terrible reasons, good reasons, that he cannot 
around the affairs of this country. Let, me, let, 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 us, let, let the parties make it an issue. And so again, it will be the issue of uh, the age, the age limit. I do not see any reason why the children are about the age limit. In fact, the older you go, the more mature and the wiser you become. <laughs> My fellow participants, my fellow participants, I don't know if I have been amongst that I'm making this statement in support of myself. How many people who would be 75, 80 wanted to contest elections here? How many? It's not just an amount. This is a law that we have to break for the Gambia. I'm not being participant, I cannot be participant. My experience as a lawyer will be looking for the future. And that is why when the amendment to the constitution was made and people were zero down to individuals, they forgot that the same amendment could the benefit could benefit some other person rather than those individuals and they could put in benefit social political judges. And again, in this case, so the commissioners, in fact, the, the commissioners are the work of the commissioners. No, the venerable implementable Lord David. He served as a master of years. Up to the age of 80, we are in the for some scandal. He would have continued to serve until probably he dies. And he was just doing a job as onerous as any person would do. So, if you think that age should be a don't put up as a year solution. But you vote for him because he's an elected general. You need to I don't know which person of your own age does better than the heart to be. I don't know. But let me say, I'm saying that let, let it be an issue of. Let me, 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 let with the uh, civil majority. When the Gambians have in fact voted that it must be 15 votes, otherwise it cannot. And again, all these good laws that we are talking about, we can put them in place, but it depends on the operators, the enforcers, because laws are as good as the operators and as the enforcers. So we support the 15 plus 1. And we uh, uh, we 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 support it. But also, but then there there is the uh, downside of it. We know in Africa, elections are always acrimonious. Now you go for elections. There is no quote unquote. A clear agreement, that is to say, no one has called 50 plus. Within a space of 14 days, we will have been preparing for another elections. That is perpetuating the economy that had commenced maybe a few weeks ago, or even earlier than a few weeks ago. The attendant cost to government the attendant cost to the political parties. And remember, we want to have the voting at 70 days per How much will it cost us then to go all over the 
une conséquence pour qu'on donne à ce qu'on a de voter. Je suis agité par la Moïse, en me faisant un peu par le monde, mais ce n'est pas ce que je comme tu as dit, tu as dit que 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 tu That is given to us. Please, even if we have to extend the time from 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock. This is our opportunity. It is our opportunity. So let us, let us, let us all interact. Okay. The issue of a roaming rate uh, again is happening in countries, but in some other countries it doesn't happen. Again, I tell France, France doesn't even have a presence of roaming rate on account of the system of your government. But that would be some problems. I think somebody will know some article here. We may be about some new article relationship. If such a situation arises between the president and his vice president, should they continue in a state of war? They are no longer concentrating on state affairs. The personalities are clashing, viewpoints are clashing. I would propose that the president be allowed to appoint his vice president when the subject him to vent him by the national assembly. So that if a situation arises, where it becomes contrary that they can no longer continue as their fathers, the president can remove and appoint another person. Because you don't know, want to have the right president there, handling an adverse, and the president will continue to do anything. Even in cabinet, they are probably, we will be speaking the same language, they will be fighting there. So we we'll suggest that uh, what, had, had, what we had. Uh, and still have for the president, the appointees, the vice president, we, we, would suggest, uh, we would suggest that for the reason that we have given. And uh, uh, the time limit, the time limit of course should be between 10 years. They need, they need not be consecutive. They need not be consecutive. Yeah, of course, uh, as well as business in Ghana, you know, the one of the presidential candidates was a president, but he had lost at the last election that he's coming back. So such a situation could be allowed, but then he could only be limited to another five year term. So that in aggregate it will be ten years. Then there was an issue raised uh, about this time limit with the current president. And uh, it is has been my proposal that the time limit should apply to him so that if he decides to contest the next elections and wins, that five years should be counted. And this will be the transitional position. That can be counted as being a second, as being the, as being the, second, the second five years. So that the current time and the time that he will come in in 2021 will be in the be two times. And this we propose, and then the that should be in the transition position so that uh, you will not have a situation where we have the constitution is going to ameliorate, address mistakes, we will have a problem that we still 
for a period before the whiskey can be properly addressed. So we suggest that. Uh, we also believe that, uh, presidency, believe that uh, when the president is declared, when the person is declared elected as president, he should take a period, specified period, as you, the office of president, notwithstanding any petitions that may be filed against his president, against his election. And we have made that proposal on the principle of uh, uh, presenting the Fulabi Abdul. As judges of the judges uh, <coughs> consider that to be valid until they are, until they are set aside, so should the election of the president or a member of the National Assembly be considered as valid regular until they are set aside. Otherwise, uh, we will have uh, situations where the president elect for some reason or another is unable to resume office because someone has uh, filed a petition against his elections. It could be a bogus petition, but yet, in order to frustrate him to resume office, just legislate. So we want to suggest that the president of the government is not going to that he must, must have uh, resume office. Within a certain period after the uh, declaration of elections, on the basis that uh, of, of the presumption that this election is considered regular, proper, until it is set aside. I, I think that we get it. Let me just stop here so that I can work with more people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now we move to the back. Let's have a couple of questions at the back. So we have MC I think I want to go Thank you for giving me for And I think that uh, the time that we should be for five years. For the time limit. And the qualification of uh, for the only presence, even the poor family can qualify to be a president of this country. Mm -hmm. Alright. Poor mm -hmm. family. Yeah. Secondly, <laughs> about the day limit. And I think that we can do between the number of 75 and 75 years for the day limit. to the entire nation. It's a point, I believe. It should be checked. And the other point, residential qualification should at least be two and a half 
years instead of five years because five years is too high. Two and a half years. I, this is my opinion. Two and a half years instead of five years. You will stay in the country two and a half years before an order elections. And the marginal group or the physical challenge, they should not be left behind. They should take part. They are part and parcel of this nation. When it comes to elections, they participate. Now, when it comes to representatives also, they have the right to be heard. And they should be in the parliament. This should be looked into. And also, looking at age limit is very important <coughs> because I have someone saying the higher you go or um, the older you grow, the more much you become. That's true. But also, we also believed the higher you go, the weak you become because this deals with the mind. <laughs> and as you grow, we believed there are certain things that are, are expected or ought to, to um, uh, go away from you. And finally, um, for the term limit, I want it to be two terms of five years. So these are my contributions from the Gambia Moral Congress. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, with regards to uh, qualification of the president, I believe um, for the president, 74 education is okay with me because the whole exercise is meant to enfranchise as opposed to disenfranchise. So for it to take that secondary education that will enable many Gambians to partake in presidential elections. And the term limits, I am confident with two five terms. That is okay. Ten years. At least if you serve for ten years, that's okay. With regards to the age limit, for me, I think the older you are, the more capable you are. For there is age limit is done. Thank you. and I am from Gambia Party for Democracy and Progress. And I, I might, uh, my first take is on the qualification of president. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it is necessary for people to, uh, to take the, the, the qualification up high to a degree. It, 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 I mean, degree doesn't instill leadership skills in you. It just gives you a way forward of, in life. What, what leader, leaders, leaders are not only born in university. Some, other, some people also go through, through other, 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 uh, other groups in life and still become good leaders. We have them. We have so many good leaders who do not have degrees. I'm a university student, but I am not, I, I'm not, I'm not, I want, uh, I think uh, this you, uh, secondary, secondary uh, school the, uh, the um, requirement is enough for a president. At least the person should know how to read and write. I think that is enough. But leadership, leadership skill is not is not uh, instilled through university education. Um, regarding term limit, I, th I, I concur with what they say. Two um, two term, which is five years apiece. I mean, each five years. Um, and also 
dual citizenship. When it comes to dual citizenship, as uh, Mr. Uh, Honorable Dabo mentioned, the person should at least forfeit the, the other uh, citizenship, at least be to, to, to prove to the country that his loyalty is to this nation, not the other nations. Uh, and also, to when it comes to the, if it should be, should be a simple majority, or it should be um, a 51 percent, an absolute majority. I think uh, I think a simple majority uh, should be enough for for for, a person, for someone to be declared as a winner of the presidential race because. Uh, we don't have. We, we don't have. All, we, we should not go back, back, back to another election, which will cost. Which will have a heavy cost on us. I think the simple majority will be more cost effective and will be. I mean, more, more. I mean. Okay. Uh, okay. When it comes to a president owning a business, I don't think uh, it is uh, advisable for any president to be running a, I mean, a business and also be the, 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 the leader of this nation. I think that even if he has a business or she has a business, I think that they should be separate entities. Uh, running a nation and running a business could, could uh, come, uh, bring in conflicts, which, uh, might not, which, which could be a pro problem in his, uh, in, in, in his in the dispensation of his uh, role as the president of the, of the country. Uh, when it comes to the, uh, having a running mate or not, I don't think it is necessary for presidents to have running mate. I think they, they should also have the, the right to choose uh, uh, best presidents whom they are comfortable working with. I don't think uh, they, they should be uh, forced to uh, spend the, their time working with someone who they could, uh, they could enter into conflict with. And uh, when it comes to uh, the system of uh, government, we should have whether it should be parliamentary or presidential. I think we should also have a mix of both. I think uh, as uh, honorable Diamonds, uh, the parliamentarians are representing constituencies, and I think they, they, they come into contact with the people. If a person uh, that is Ramadan from Gambia province, radio. Ramadan Barak, Ramadan from Gambia Puffins.